Hello all you lovely people and welcome, welcome, welcome to another video of mine. In today's video, I've got Assassin's Creed Odyssey playing this on my Lenovo Legion Go. And this is one of my Let's Play videos where I show you this game's performance on Lenovo Legion Go. Before I start this video, I would like to show some of the settings that I'm playing this game with. So the first thing that I want to show you is um, definitely not this. This is running in the background, but what I want to show is AMD's Adrenaline software. And let me just quickly turn the overlay off so that you get a clear picture of what kind of settings do I have on. The first thing would be the version 24.10.1. This is the latest version of AMD driver and I've side loaded this. So you have to manually download this driver on your Lenovo Legion Go. That's a bummer. Prior to this, I was using the 24.20 driver and that had released in the month of September, 16th of September, if I'm not wrong. This has released on the 11th of October, which means this is the latest driver that you can play with on your Lenovo Legion Go. It's up to date. And as far as gaming goes, let me show you that I'm playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey I made a few changes here or there so that I could draw out more than 120 FPS in some areas, but yeah, but on an average, I'm getting over 90 to 100 FPS in this game as well. Now, how am I able to do that? A part of the reason would be AMD's Fluid Motion Frames 2. So I have that enabled. I also have Radeon Super Resolution turned on and the sharpen effect has been kept on 75 only. Well, you can take it up as well. I mean, you can, if you want, you can take it up to 80 as well. I think 80 is a sweet spot. But for the sake of this video, I'll just keep it at 75. I think you can go up to 80 as well. I am only going to be focused on these two settings, AFMF2 and Radeon Super Resolution. Obviously, you have the option of using Radeon Image Sharpening as well, but it's either or. So you, if you're using this, you can't use Super Resolution and vice versa. So again, for the sake of this video, the focus is only going to be on the performance when you're using Super Resolution and AFMF2. With that said, let me quickly show you my game settings by going into it. So the first thing that I would want to show here is all the settings that I've kept this game on. Now, this is important and I'll make a few comments here. First of all, my screen resolution is not even 800p. So I'm getting close to 100 FPS, in fact, in some cases, more than 100 FPS with a resolution of 1600 into 1000. And this resolution for a screen this size is beautiful. Resolution modifier has been kept at 100%. In fact, you can get over 120 FPS if you take it down to 80%. I wouldn't recommend that. But the moment you take it above 100%, for instance, I was playing even with 200%, the frame rates literally halve. So at 200%, I was getting close to 55 to 60 FPS. Now at 100%, I'm getting close to 100 to 120 FPS. So this is an important setting. Please note that if you keep it at 1600 into 1000, just set the resolution modifier to 100%. The refresh rate is obviously 144 Hertz native. Vsync has been kept on. The field of view is also 100%. I don't want to put a lot of uh, stress on the GPU and um, Speaking of that, I am only consuming 1600 MB, which means close to 1.6 GB out of the 6 GB that I have manually allocated to the VRAM. Now, how do you do that? You can go to the BIOS settings and uh, change the default 3 GB to either 4 or 6. In my case, I've used 6 GB for VRAM. And again, there are many videos online that you can see where you get to know how to change the VRAM allocation through the BIOS setting. So I'm not going to show you that in this video. As far as graphical settings go, please note that I've kept everything on low settings, mostly. But here are a few of the changes that I've done. First of all, the texture detail, I've kept it on medium. So it's not even low. The character detail has been kept on medium. Again, not low. Ambient occlusion has also been kept on medium. And I've also put in depth of field so that when those cutscenes come in, you also sh see that shallow depth of field. 
And uh, this makes a significant impact on the visual fidelity of those cutscenes. So this is important for that. Now that I've shown you all the settings, let me just get into the game. By the way, I also have a cheat strainer called Plitch running in the background. And even with that, I'm still able to draw out great performance. Now, the last thing that I want to show you here in um, Lenovo Go's um, settings panel is that I'm playing this at a resolution of 1218 to 800 from the settings panel of Lenovo Space. I'm going to crank it up to 144 hertz here. And I'm also going to turn on frame monitoring on. Now, please note that Radeon Super Resolution has been kept on. Now, as far as TDP performance goes, I have kept it at performance mode. I'm not playing this with custom TDP where I've maxed out everything. The last thing that I would want to mention is that there is no power connected. So this is running on battery. This is pure battery performance. So if you connect the power to this, maybe you can get a little more out of the game, probably a boost of another five to eight FPS. But even without any power connected to your Lenovo Legion Go, as you can see, the FPS here that I am getting in game is over 100 FPS. Let me just walk around. I'm getting close to 119 FPS, guys. This is absolutely incredible. This is bonkers. Now, prior to this, I had made a video on Assassin's Creed uh, Origins as well, where I have showed the performance of Origins with AFMF2 and Radeon Super Resolution. And even on that game, I was getting over 100 FPS. But as far as this game goes, guys, this is performing better than AC Origins. And uh, I've also played Assassin's Creed Mirage, which probably is the latest game. I mean, not probably, it is the latest game in this franchise because Shadows, which was due to be out in November, has been postponed. Unfortunately, it's coming out in 2025 and only time will tell how that will perform. But Mirage, even Mirage, I was getting close to 100 to 120 FPS. So all these Assassin's Creed games run really well on handheld PCs like the Lenovo Legion Go. And uh, it's incredible to see that we can draw this performance out of a small, tiny little device like this. Now, when I say tiny, of course, among all the handheld PCs, the major ones like uh, Steam Deck, Asus ROG Ally, and then the Lenovo Legion Go, this has the largest footprint in terms of size. But even then, if you just consider this as a standalone device, this is pretty small. Now, when I was playing the same game on my ASUS G15 Advantage Edition laptop with an RX 6800M graphic card, which has dedicated 12 GB for graphic memory, I was not even able to draw this performance out in 1440p. And why 1440p? Well, it's a bigger screen here. Yeah? Uh, the laptop is like 15.6 inches in terms of the screen size. And on a screen like that, you're obviously not going to play at 800p or 1000p. You are going to be playing at least at a 1440p so that you get those crisp graphic um, resolution and uh, everything looks sharp. Now, in this case, even while I'm playing at 1080p, the point to note is that this is a much smaller screen. This is only 8.8 inch. Let me just go into the maps and first of all, pay all the bounty up so that I don't have to worry about these mercenaries coming after me. So this is an 8.8 .8 inch screen. And for a screen this size, with these settings, everything looks brilliant, guys. The over 100 FPS that I'm getting on a small screen like this, it looks bonkers in terms of smoothness. It is super smooth. Take my word for it, guys. It is definitely super smooth. And what's surprising is that a PC this size can pull this off. So I was talking about my laptop, yeah, with the RX 6800M, which is a mobile GPU. But still, 12 GB of RAM, VRAM it has. And this one, well, it does not have that, yeah? It does not have a dedicated GPU. It's an integrated GPU, the 780M. And even this integrated GPU performs so well because of the upgrades and technology that we have had over the last few years. Now that laptop of mine is from 2021. It was the 2021 edition. 
So in three years' time, a device which costs much lesser than what I paid for my laptop is performing so well. And uh, there is a strong case for handle PCs right here. When you see performance like this, with a demanding title like AC Odyssey, you immediately know the worth of the d device. And in this case, Lenovo Legion Go is performing brilliantly, guys. I have absolutely no complaints. This video is all about the performance of AC Odyssey on Lenovo Legion Go. I'm not commenting on the game itself. Maybe that's a different video because the game has now completed almost five years. And I also want to make a video on what I feel about AC Odyssey after all these years now in 2024. What does it feel like to play this game in 2024 after so many other titles or games have released? This, by the way, is my favorite Assassin's Creed title. And Cassandra happens to be my favorite protagonist. One of the reasons why I think that this is my favorite games is because this is the most non-Assassin's Creed Assassin's Creed game, <laughs> if you know what I mean. This does not feel like any of the other games from the franchise. It's different. The way the map is structured, the way the side quests are structured, everything feels so different. And I think that brings about a kind of freshness which was needed uh, in the Assassin's Creed titles. But coming back to the performance of the game, this is Assassin's Creed Odyssey on the Lenovo Legion Go. Performing as smooth as butter. <laughs> it's really that smooth. And again, you're getting over 100 FPS in some cases. In some areas, you can even go up to 120 FPS. I've already shown you the settings in case you want to pause the video and check out those settings. Please feel free to do that. If you have any questions about the settings, please reach out to me via the comment section and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you've liked this video, uh, please note that I do make other videos like this, like this is a Let's Play video of mine, but apart from Let's Play videos like this, I also have game review videos. I have to buy or not to buy videos and also some unboxing and review videos of items related to gaming. So if you wanna get connected with my channel and my community, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. So please consider subscribing to my channel. And also, if you've liked this video, then um, please smash that like button so that you can support my channel. And um, I thank you in advance for doing all of that, hitting the like button, subscribing to my channel, and also hitting that bell icon so that in case I release any of my new video, you will get a notification as soon as I do that. With that said, it's a wrap for this one. I'll see you lovely folks in my next video. Until that time, I'll say take care, stay safe, and may God bless you all.